Hey, it's Kerry Sullivan with another how to kick ass in sales.com video and today I'm going to be answering a question about how to finally close a deal. All right, so someone asked me a question and the issue is this person keeps getting stuck in a situation where they feel like the other person they are trying to sell isn't really playing ball with them. They're giving them value and they're not able to get in there and actually close the deal even though they feel like that person wants to sign the deal and get it done. So there's a few ways to handle this situation. It's something that I used to get stuck in all the time. So here's how you, you fix that and here's how I, I fix that specific situation. So number one is you wanna start asking a lot of questions and you wanna figure out why that person wants to buy something. And you wanna figure out specifically how is it going to negatively impact them not to go through and fix the situation that they are trying to fix with your product and or service, right? So here's how you would do this. Let's say I'm selling car tires and someone comes in and they want to buy a pair of car tires. And so what I'd ask them is, you know, what is the reason you need a new pair of car tires? And they say, well, these are worn out and, uh, you know, so I need a new pair. And then I would ask them, well, what would be your ideal pair of car tires, your dream set of car tires. And they said, well, they'll last for 70,000 miles and they'd be really good in wet weather. All right. And so I would then ask them, and why is that so important for you to have car tires that are good in the, in the wet weather? And they said, well, I drive a lot in wet weather right now. And the ones I have right now, they're not that good and, and everything. And so I would then ask them the implication questions, right? I'd ask them, so how is it impacting you to have a pair of car tires right now that aren't good in wet weather? And they say, oh, it stresses me out. I can't brake when I need to. I have children and I, I want the, that car the, to be as safe as possible for them. And then you're going to ask them at that point, how soon do you want to fix that? And when they, they realize the impact of that car tire and when they really verbalize it and talk out loud about how that's impacting them specifically, they're like, oh, I want to get it done now. Okay, so right there, they've got they've developed the urgency in their mind for why they need to get this done right here and right now, right? And so from there, you can show them the car tires, you can do the presentation, and how that car tire is going to specifically meet their needs of being able to go for 70,000 miles and be really good in wet weather situations, right? And, and pitch it all around that. Now, the deal is, and I used to get stuck in this situation too, where I knew they were they're all ready to go and wanted to get the tire and every or not the tire the, the product or whatever it may be, and I didn't know how to close the deal. So what I learned is just to go in there and assume the sale. So for whatever it may be, just say, would you like to get this product on Tuesday or Wednesday? All right, do you want this in blue or black? And just go through like they've already said yes. Go through, get them to get their autograph on the piece of paper. That's another little trick in there. If you say sign, sometimes people freak out about that. So just go through, just like they're gonna buy the product and just go right on through with the paperwork, figure out when the delivery order is gonna be and get them started, that's it. So that is how you go through there and just get the deal done. So you're gonna really figure out one, how it's impacting them not to get started with you with your product and or service and you're also going to then just go into assuming the sale and delivering that product and or service just like they had already bought so doing that should help you go out there and get the job done this is Kerry Sullivan with another how to kick ass in sales.com video if you got any other questions you guys know what to do leave them and that's it and I appreciate you for watching thank you bye bye